Thanks for checking out Scotty's Hobbies. Today we're looking at this 1995 Toyota Corolla. This should be the same, if not very similar, to a Prism as well. Here is your under hood label. This label lets you know what your vehicle is equipped with and if your vehicle confirms to a federal or California emission standards. First, right here on top, you're going to find the PCV valve. Here is your PCV valve. Your PCV valve routes air and fuel from the crankcase back through the intake manifold to the cylinders and through the combustion process rather than allowing them to escape into the atmosphere. Between the radiator and just outside the exhaust manifold, you're going to find a oxygen sensor. And you're looking at it right here. Here is your Bank 1 Sensor 1 oxygen sensor. This sensor measures the oxygen content in the exhaust, providing an input to the computer, which then determines how much to adjust the air fuel ratio to get the perfect or most efficient burn in the combustion chamber possible. Near the firewall and the back of the engine, and there you will find your... Here is your canister purge solenoid. This solenoid is responsible for purging the EVAP system by acting as the switch that allows vapors back into the engine and through the combustion process. The EGR consists of three different components on this vehicle. Let's go ahead and go over all of them. Here is your EGR vacuum solenoid modular. The EGR vacuum modular is a component found on some EGR systems, from my experience, mostly Toyota vehicles. It controls the flow of the EGR system by using a vacuum operated diaphragm to increase or decrease EGR flow. Here is your EGR control solenoid, or also known as the VSV. This is how the computer sends or allows vacuum to get to the EGR valve to recirculate your exhaust gases. The EGR valve is controlled by both of those components. The EGR valve plays a little bit of peekaboo between the rear engine and the firewall. But you'll see it right here. Here is your exhaust gas recirculation valve, also known as your EGR valve. It is on the vehicle to reduce emissions by lowering the combustion temperature, which lowers NOx. It does this by rerouting some of the exhaust gases coming out of the engine and putting it back into the intake system and through the combustion process once again. Now that's all the emission components on this vehicle. Hopefully this helps you out on your DIY project or maybe an emissions component location. If it does, please make sure you like, subscribe, and share, and comment below with the year make and model that it did help you on. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next hopefully helpful video. Thanks for checking out Scotty's Hobbies.